today's video is all about the next short story that I'm releasing. I know I'm going to get comments about Outsider, so I've addressed everything with that in the description box. I'll have a link to my blog where I've explained what happened with that, what's going to happen with it. I'm not going to cover that in this video because for this video, I just want to talk about this particular short story. At the beginning of this year, I set myself a writing target. I'd been so ill for a long time that I really didn't want to overdo it. And it really kind of clicked in my head at the beginning of this year that all my stories don't have to be these massive world building projects. They can just be simple, short, just something that needs to be said. You don't need to go overboard. You can actually just keep it simple. So that was what I wanted to set myself the target for this year three short stories and then one one-off story. The one-off story is called Aphelion, it's already half written <laughs> and it's completely outlined so it's just a case of cracking through it, which I am, but the short stories are very nice because they give me breaks in between it and Elwyn's Mermaid is going to be the first of those short stories that I'm going to be releasing. That will be coming out in two weeks. It's going to be going up on clairedelise.com and just like what I've been doing with my other books, you can read that, all of it, on Claire Delis. you don't need to buy it, you don't need to buy a Kindle version, you could if you wanted to once it's available, but with the short stories it's really about me being able to write, being able to have a mental break, and then also being able to show people the kind of books that I write without them getting heavily invested in a series, because with a series it is an investment, it's a time investment, and with the short stories it gives people a taster of the kind of thing that you like to write, helps them figure out whether what you write is what they like, and it's just an enjoyable process I think for everyone all around so that's what will be happening that's going to be coming out in two weeks it will be going up long before that on Patreon it should be going up on Patreon before that just like everything else it always goes up on Patreon first but eventually it will be going up on clairedelise.com and just like with the Simply Claire website it's got a mailing list that way anyone who's interested in reading those stories just gets it sent directly to that email and then it's nice and simple and with this illustration the idea I had is that this is going to be the first illustration at the beginning of the book and then I have a second illustration that I still need to do which is going to be at the end of the book and that one's just going to be in black and white and if you ever look at the Dickensian era type illustrations everything was done in black and white and pen and ink so I very very much want to do that last illustration in that style but for this illustration, I am just sticking to my favorites, which are watercolors. I like to use the normal watercolor tablets, but I also like to use the pencils. And as you can see with the pencils, they're all sharpened a little bit weirdly. I'm not a massive fan of pencil sharpeners. I don't like the way they sharpen them. And I also don't like the tendency that the lead has to snap inside. And I remember an art teacher telling me that that was because when you turn the pencils inside a pencil sharpener, it makes the lead shake and rattle and can break them. I don't know if this is true, but I just know that when I sharpen my pencils with a knife, I hardly get any breakage. And when I use a pencil sharpener, I get breakage a lot and it really annoys me. With a knife, I can control the shape of the lead. So that's what I prefer to do. And I actually got rid of the pencil sharpener that I had in my art desk a few weeks weeks ago because I realized I hadn't touched it in about three years so at that point I thought you know what you use a knife let's just admit that we use a knife to sharpen our pencils and get rid of the stuff that we don't actually use it was quite funny when I started this painting I was thinking oh no this is gonna end so badly and then this always happens with every single drawing you start and you're really excited and you've got this image in your head of how it's going to look you get halfway through it and you think oh this is gonna look awful I want to burn it I hate it and then you push past that point and you get to the end you think mm, actually I'm quite pleased with this and at this point when I was painting the egg that was exactly where I was at I was thinking oh this is gonna look awful and then I thought hang on what if I make it look iridescent that would be a lot more interesting and then when I add the scales you'll have that interesting color contrast underneath and this was the turning point in the painting for me at this point I thought oh yeah okay this is actually gonna work out we haven't just wasted days painting something that we're not going to use because we hate it and adding the white ink made all the difference I love this ink it's amazing it's so thick and I just love the effects that you can get, especially with all these little scales on the webbing, on the skin, on the hair as well. It was just, it's a beautiful product and I wish I'd found it years ago, but I've got it now and I'm very excited to use it for the last illustration because I'm sure I'm going to mess up that pen illustration. At least now knowing I have white ink to go over it, I'm absolutely sure that I can do it and it's actually going to look how I want it to. 
just like with all my artwork, once I've painted it, I don't want to see it anymore, so I sell it. The link to that will be down in the description box. The book will be coming out in two weeks. You do not have to buy it. If you want to read it, you'll be able to read it on claredlees.com. That website also has a mailing list. That way, anyone who wants to read any of the books just gets notified right away, and it's easy enough. Can't wait to share the rest of the books with you this year. After this story, there's going to be another one called Switch. Around Halloween, I'll be releasing a horror book called Tooth, which I'm really looking looking forward to and then finally at the end of the year there'll be the full novel of Felion which I'll tell you more about closer to the time. I hope you like this video and I'll have more content for you soon. And as usual if you like my videos and want to see more content feel free to follow me on the mailing list, do not subscribe to me on YouTube, that way you get everything sent directly to your email and I'll have a new video for you soon. Mm -hmm.